Hi, welcome back to Ed Talks, the show where I spend 15 minutes researching a topic I know nothing about and then explain it back to you. On today's episode, we're going to be covering artificial intelligence, the process to make a machine as smart as a person. Now, the AI research has been around for uh, a lot of years, like 80 years, 20s, 30s, something like that, whenever they started doing the first artificial intelligence research to try to make a computer think is the basis of it. You want, I mean, you want to make a machine think and reason and know things. Very similar to what humans do. And it's not a super hard process because the, 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 the human brain is more or less just a super advanced computer. The process is, or the problem rather is, to simulate that on a machine itself. To have a machine that can think and react as quick and make reasoning, not just based off of fact, but also opinions for each different situation. You know, you might find yourself in a situation as a human and you can make multiple decisions and you pick the one that you think is best, a machine will have to do that same thing. An example could be a self-driving car. Uh, if you have a self-driving car going, you know, down the road and you have, you know, you have two options. You have to hit, either run over one person or run over 10 people. The, the car is going to now, is the, just the artificial intelligence stuff in the car might choose just to run over the one person. It's less dangerous. Whereas a human might opt to just crash the car into a wall or something. The, the robot might not do that. I don't know if you would or not. I probably, I don't know. Who knows? But that's the theory behind it that the AI itself has to be able to make reasoning based off opinions as well as facts. Very similar to a chess player not making a certain move because they don't want their piece to be exposed. An AI might make that move just because it's a strategically smart move. Words are hard, okay? Now, we have different kinds of AI today. It's had a few setbacks, of course, the past... 80 years has been in development. The 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s had a bunch of setbacks because the technology just wasn't there. The concept was, sure, but the technology itself wasn't. We didn't have the computer power at the time to have true AI like we do today. And even to this day, we still don't have super good AI. We just have the, the basis behind it all. You know, just because your phone can look at you and recognize it's you doesn't make it AI. It just it's comparing a picture that it took earlier, more or less. Now, something recognizing human speech and being able to talk back to you is considered artificial intelligence because it is recognizing something and composing its own sentence and its own thought, you could say, back to you. Uh, AI development will continue going the way it is. We can expect to have strong AI in probably the next 50 years or so actual AI that can think and react very similar to a human. And this brings us into a moral and ethical question. Just because we can, should we? Will AI itself be able to make moral and ethical decisions? Will AI even care about humans? You know, that's a whole argument that people have for it. AI might not share the same morals and ethics we have because we evolved to have those morals and ethics based on our biology. And AI won't have that. And AI might not care about humans. They might, you know, conquer us all and kill everyone. You know, who knows? You've seen Terminator, I'm sure. It's okay, movie. But that's that's one of the ethical problems behind AI is will that happen? Will artificial intelligence eventually take over? Will artificial intelligence have the interest of humans in mind? You know, we don't know that. We can't predict that. We can write programming code to help ensure that, but we can never predict it. You know, coding messes up and programs don't always work right. Uh, but with that, you, you get to, you know, the moral and ethical thing. And will AI itself ever be considered sentient life? Will it have the same rights as humans? You know, if something can think and feel and make decisions, is it human, even though it's a robot would it still have human rights and freedoms or would those be stripped away and deprived of them because they are a machine and only a machine uh, a lot of people argue that machines will never truly think even though machines have beat professional chess players people argue that's not artificial intelligence or rather that's not real intelligence but just a machine 
making plays based off of strategy that it knows. Uh, that's up for debate, you know. Everyone has their own decisions and own thoughts about that. But the fact is that it is intelligence because you are, the machine itself is using reasoning and strategy to defeat a human opponent. You, I mean, that, that would be intelligence, right? If you beat someone else in an intelligence game, you would argue that you are more intelligent than them, even if it is just in that one game or field or subject. Uh, there is no real fear of AI anytime soon, at least, taking over, like was mentioned earlier. The technology isn't there yet. You know, we're, we're just now getting to the point where we are making self-driving cars that aren't super great. You know, they're kind of just starting out. You know, I'm sure a lot of you all follow uh, the various researches and things on the Internet, you know, about advances in self-driving cars, the smart car and things like that. Uh, Amazon's working on some kind of drone delivery. That's that's AI. The drone itself deploys artificial intelligence, knowing where to go, when to drop it off, how high to be up in the air when it drops the package, various things like that. However, is the, the argument still comes back to, is it real intelligence? Or is it simply a machine just doing what it was programmed to do? When will the machine go from being programmed to do one thing to making a decision on whether it wants to do another thing or not. That is when AI will truly become artificial intelligence. Now you have various forms of AI, like I said before, such as you know a car. A smart car is AI. It is deciding when to go, when to stop, when to turn, when to merge. It's making all those decisions in, in fractions of a second based on the environment around it. Will that car be able to react as fast as a human? If a driver in front of that car slams on its brakes, will that car be? Will the smart car be able to react? That's the issue they're coming into now. And then you have other forms of AI, such as in video games. <clears throat> they, that AI isn't a physical AI, but rather an informational AI. It will study the player and adapt to what that player is doing to make the game either more difficult or more easy, depending on the game. You have some games with very strong AI and others with very weak AI. Uh, it all depends on how it is coded and who the developer are that you know the more money they have the better the AI is essentially you know money buys good things uh, with the setbacks that is seen if, if they continue like they did in the past uh, it may never get developed as far as it needs to go or it might get you know the finally the attention nowadays with the, with the computing power we have we have a lot more ability to develop the technology not just the feasibility of it, but the practicality of it as well. Um, and that's about the gist of what AI is. There's, there's more in-depth of how programming AI is and all that uh, stuff. I don't know. That's way above me. I'm not that smart. But I can tell you what it is, what it does. And it might kill us all one day. It might not. Who knows? Uh, time will tell. It's one of those things, you know, we just have to, I guess, wait and see. Um, but with that, we'll bring this episode to an end. Uh, I hope you had a great day, and thanks for watching Ed Talks. Bye. Thanks for watching Ed Talks. If you like this episode, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to catch more content like this. Check us out on social media at Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Leave a comment below if you'd like a certain subject covered, and check out our new show, Storytime, here. Thank you, and have a great day.